Finally, the U.S. has forgiven Ethiopia and decided to resume diplomatic relations. And as weird as that may sound, it is what it is, because Ethiopia's relations with the U.S. are now looking up again. After Washington, or the Joe Biden administration, nominated a diplomat to serve as ambassador to Addis Ababa. And at this point, I know you're asking yourself, but there is a U.S. embassy in Addis Ababa. Yes, that is true. But there was no ambassador. And this is after U.S. pulled the last ambassador from Addis Ababa and almost cut relations with the Ethiopian government. The reason? Because they were accusing the Ethiopian government of killing its own people. So they were saying that the Ethiopian government was weaponizing famine. You remember the northern region of Ethiopia, the Tigray region, went to war with the Ethiopian government for two years. And then there was this famine in that region, and humanitarian bodies like the Red Cross, the UNHCR, tried to access that region to supply food aid. And it is said that the Ethiopian government and the Ethiopian soldiers were stopping these trucks carrying food, food aid and basically confiscating them. So this is why the U.S. now accused the Ethiopian government of deliberately killing its own people using famine and, of course, using even weapons because they were bombing those regions. And how did the Ethiopian government respond? First, they accused the U.S. of supporting the Tigrayan rebels and even arming them. So they said that U.S. would fly at night using their planes and drop weapon shipment in the Tigray regions. Of course, those allegations were not proven. They also said that the, the U.S. embassy in Addis Ababa was supporting the Tigrayan, giving them money. These accusations and counter-accusations are the reasons why the U.S. pulled out the ambassador and some top staff from that embassy in Addis Ababa. And they also almost closed that embassy. So, after two years of fighting, U.S. had blocked any foreign aid to Ethiopia. They also kicked them out of AGOA, which is a duty-free agreement between the U.S. and some African countries that allows those countries, including Ethiopia, to export the agricultural produce to U.S. without paying duty. So eventually what happened is that along the way, the Ethiopian economy was hurting and these Tigrayan rebels were not achieving anything. So the two sides decided to end the fighting. So they met in South Africa through a peace process spearheaded by the African Union and supported by the U.S. and signed to end the fighting. So they de-escalated de and ended the fighting. And today that northern region has peace. The humanitarian support is reaching that region. Communication, which is internet and mobile, has resumed. The Ethiopian Airlines is now flying to the capital, Mekere. And the rebels are disarming. They are handing over their weapons to the Ethiopian soldiers. These efforts and these actions are what now has led the U.S. to now resume diplomatic relations with Ethiopia. That's why they have appointed a new ambassador to the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Mr. The Diplomat is called Arvin Jose Masinga, who is a top-ranking diplomat with experience on the African continent. He speaks French, Spanish, and English, and at one time was posted to Guinea, Conakry, and other African countries, so he understands the continent.